So Mohan Abhishek, uh, please join with one play from one place. Okay. So either you can join from laptop or mobile, whichever you are feeling comfortable. But use only one source of attending only once, one place. Yeah. So team, uh, please use the same meeting details for further sessions also. So next um, till JCL, the same meeting details. Okay. The meeting details are not going to change till uh, end of the JCL. So whoever joined, someone joined with the name called mainframes, please uh, rename and join. Okay, uh, that is mandatory. You have to join with your name. Otherwise, I will dismiss from this particular meeting. Yeah, so to yesterday, uh, we discussed. Today, we discussed about initial. Okay. We discussed about uh, JCL and uh, how to write the JCL. Started writing the JCL, how to write the JCL, and we started discussing about the parameters. Okay, so uh, we discussed a few parameters like, uh, and we discussed about JCL uh, statement uh, components like uh, identifier. Identifier field. Okay. And uh, we discussed the name field. Okay. And uh, operation field. Whenever I say the operation field, immediately should recollect job, execute, and DD. Operands, parameters. Sorry, comments. Okay. So comments. Right. So identifier and recap what we discussed yesterday. Identifier is the first field. Identifier is the first field. It will start from okay. It will start from uh, first position. The length of the identifier field is three positions. One, two, three. One, two, three and we can write slash 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 star slash slash star so each JSON statement each JSON statement should start with the identifier field each JSON statement should start with the identifier field that is all about identifier name field ideally it will start from the column name field someone joined the name called mainframes so i'm i'm doing again one more time so i request you to please join with your actual name name field okay so name field uh, it starts from the third column length of the name field is one to eight characters and uh, it can be it, it is it there are two scenarios we write user defined in few scenarios we write uh, predefined name field so then third one operation field so operation field decides what type of the statement so we have a job statement execute and read so job statement that indicates that it is going to control the entire job execute statement we use to specify the program execute statement we use to execute uh, to specify the program name dd we use dd to specify data set name we use really to specify the data set data set information then operands are nothing but parameters operands are nothing but parameters so the uh, operands okay we have a operands uh, like parameters right so there are so many parameters in ajax here at the end and comments okay this is all about uh, comments now so we started discussing about operator parameters or operands. So we have operand called 
the first parameter so on job cut so the first statement job we can call as a job cut cut job statement so on job cut these are all the parameters accounting information today or tomorrow i will share the soft copy material on the jcl accounting information team and uh, programmer name programmer name and notify 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 and uh, region class Fixed start condition type run message class message message level message class message level, type run notify okay and uh, time is in India we are written so these are all important parameters okay so in interview they will ask you what is class parameter so you should you can you are in a position to give the answer okay so notify parameter what is notify why we use what is class why we use class okay what is restart parameter so whatever i have written all are very important next so there is something called execute on execute we can write on execute statement we can write parameters condition parameter time parameter reason parameter form parameter so these are all the minimal parameters we can specify on execute statement the on delete statement we can specify dsn equal disposition equal disposition parameter dsn parameter and space parameter CV parameter, LRCM parameter, block size parameter, and ACV, LRC, yeah, like that. There are multiple parameters are there. Okay, and in India, there are multiple parameters. So, we are going to discuss about each parameter in detail. Okay, so this is all about uh, in high level about the parameters. Now, so today I am going to write, okay, so write a JCL, this is the business requirement, write a JCL to create sequential file as per the below requirement, as per the below requirement. So the requirement, so your requirement Requirement should be 80 and record. I want to be a 50 only. I want to keep and record format is picture block. Already we mentioned it is a sequential file. Okay, already we mentioned it is a sequential file. So let's try to uh, write the JCL. I am connecting to the main thread. So already we discussed if you want to write the JCL, we need an existing PDS or new PDS, which record length, the PDS record length 80, record format should be fixed block. So in that PDS, you can create the member and write the code. So TSO, TVM user. Enter the one. So three point four, three point four, oh, what I did, I, I created band three. What? Yes. So yesterday I created this 
PDS. So in that I am creating a one number. So M1. The number name is M1. Could be enter. Could be enter. Okay, already it is there it seems. I create another member. Yes, M2. Or program 2. Enter. Reset and type calls. So, when you are writing the JCL, make sure that issued on CAPTCHA or write the data and everything in capital letter. CAPTCHA, I, JCL, highlight the JCL keywords and type num of, num of, so you have to keep one to, you have to write the JCL in the first 72 columns only. Okay, you have to write the code within the first 72 columns only. Yeah. So two slashes. This is first field, identifier field. It should start from the first column. Can I start from identifier from second column? No. Okay. So it will it will throw an error. You have to start from the first column. Identifier. Next, you have to write the name field. So when you are writing the JCL team, first you have to write the job card. Without job card, you cannot write a step. Okay, so first you should have the job card. On job card, on job statement, the name field should be your name field body. What is that? So on, okay, on job card, name field, name field should be your main frame body. So whatever the main frame body you you use to log in, that one. Okay, so I will go there. My main frame ID is IBM user ID. So keep make sure that keep eight characters. Okay. You can suffix with the uh, either J, K, one, A, any character. So IBM user J, J that is eight character. Make sure that eight characters. Then after IBM user name field is completed. So then operation field. So operation field can be job, ex, execute and DD name. So as I said, we have to write the JCL with the job code, job statement. So before operation field, after operation field, at least one should one space should be there. By following that rule, I have written the job code. And we have to write the parameters. For billing purpose, okay. For billing purpose, we use accounting information. So the accounting information will be like this. So I can give my contact number 799-45085. The programmer name, give a comma. Each parameter is called separated by comma. So I can give within the brackets, Venkat since 2010. This is the author name. So this is accounting information. It is used for billing purpose. If you are using someone's server, so the server uh, administrator should understand, they should be able to get who is using and all right so then okay so give single quotes this one then but once you submit the code once you submit the code the notification is will going to send to someone to whom you need to send the notification to whom you have to send the notification so notify is equal to IBM user so I want to send the notification so whether it is successful or unsuccessful that notification is to send to this particular user id you can use other user also whoever connected to the same server if three people connected to the same server we can give other user id also give a comma so there are three parameters one two three so i cannot be able to write one more parameter on the same line give a comma the continuation parameter should be between 4 to 14. So between 4 to 14. The continuation parameter should be between 4 to 14. So I will write here uh, class is a parameter. Okay, till yesterday we did till this. After which I have to explain. Today I will explain it. Class is a parameter. It is used to categorize the job. It is used to categorize the job. So when Everyone is submitting 
among all of them my job should execute then i can tell to the system by using the class hey boss this job is very important now it is a very critical so before you start executing other jobs please execute it okay so when you talk about this class parameter values right so you can you can write class a to z values okay you can write a or you can write a b you can write a c you can write a c d or e of any any character you write okay z or 0 to 9 so okay so a can be highest okay a can be highest uh, priority z is the least priority z can be highest priority or a is the lowest priority so which means that if you keep a system might take as a highest important and critical job okay it's like ambulance okay so any there is a huge traffic also traffic police will clean the traffic they will clear the traffic they will allow ambulance to go further right same even there are multiple jobs are there system will take this because class a is a priority job so b means lowest c will lowest you are going to decrease the category now you might get a question hey venkat is it always this is the highest priority always this is the highest priority a is highest priority no okay so a may not be the highest priority depends on the system configurations okay depends on the system configurations this can be lowest or highest done when everybody is submitting class a class a class a i submitted you submitted all 20 all 20 members submitted class a so to filter among them we use priority priority 0 to 14 or 0 to 15 is the valid values okay when class values are same then it will go to the priority when class values are same then it will go to the priority so this is priority will come into the picture when more than one job has a same class value when more than one job has the same class value then priority will come into the picture there is a another parameter time is equal to, okay so i want to make sure that this program should execute within one minute i can give one comma zero so this indicates a minutes this indicates seconds so one comma zero means one minute zero seconds one minute zero seconds so this is all about jump card and parameters one two three four five six total six parameters are there are you clear any queries to I'm sorry, sir. Yes. Sir, in the middle, so many times your voice is getting disconnected, sir. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Okay, team. Yeah. Now we, I will proceed further. Next. This is all about job cut. So basically job cut, it is used to control the entire job. Job cut, it is used to control the entire job. So once the job cut is completed, you have to write step. Okay. So you said job, but why you are writing a GCL? I want to create a file. To create a file, what program you have to use? Correct. And that program where we mention so these questions you should get so i am creating this jcl to create the file if i want to write the jcl first this is required i did it it's a mandatory okay very good with that you created a job what next i don't know anything about jcl now 
why you written this job card your intention of creating this why you written this member created and all you want to create a jc you want to write a jcl to create a sequential file so now you need to think how to create a sequential file which program we use to create the sequential file so if it is a x program where you specify so now we will see utilities there is something called ibm utilities are predefined programs so ie of br14 ieb jener ieb copy ieh list ieb edit id camps sort i school ik ik jeft 01 igy pr ctl esn hpc iewl igwl like this so there are ieb compare like this there are so many predefined utilities are there programs are there we are not discussing all of them at this moment eventually we will discuss all so at this moment we will discuss about ieb iebr 14 we will discuss about iebr 14 so this program it is a predefined program our utility it is we can call as we can call as dummy utility means without expecting any output i can use this okay i don't want i am not expecting any output i can use dummy is what is the meaning of dummy so in our uh, house dummy tap will be there tap tap dummy tap will be there what does mean so that can be used properly later correct so here also iebr 14 is a dummy so it is not only dummy we can create by using this program we can create a ps file we can create a pds file we can create a wism file not only creation we can delete a wism file also okay. so this is all about iebr 14 so this is all about iebr 14 Locating any queries? Right. So now I know which program I have to use. I know which program I have to use to create the file. But where you specify? So to <laughs> mention the program, we use operation field called execute. But for that there should be a name field, right? So name field one to eight characters you can write. So next this is about one line one statement. Even though there are two lines, but we call as a one statement because these are all parameters are coming under job statement. Hence though even though there are two lines, it is a job one job state one statement only one JSON statement. Next, so we understood the purpose. So write identifier. so each jcl statement should start with the identifier and identifier starts from the first column so then name field name field starts from the third column it is a length of 1 to 8 characters i will give s1 which is user defined okay execute before operation field before and after operation field you should give at least one space pcm is equal to ie f br14 and save it so are we creating any file no are we expecting some output no still i can use this code any queries sir excuse me sir yeah. sir your voice is breaking sir uh, we are unable to hear the complete uh, whatever you are saying sir 
wait 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 okay so don't address everyone let me get from others what about others team my voice is clear from my end it's clear sir what about others i need your responses quickly Yes, yes, sir, sir. Clear, sir. Clear, sir. Yeah, so someone said is not clear. I request you to please check from your side. Okay, sir. Then it may be from my side. Sorry, sir. Yeah. Okay, right. So I saved the code. Now we can submit it. But what is the outcome? There is no outcome. Okay, we are not expecting any output, anything. Just we are trying to understand. So let's say I have written a program. I have written a JSON. How to submit? So I will. I'll on command line. You can type sub or you can type sub submit. Either any one of them you can do it. Enter. Click on submit. Once you submit the JSON, system is going to generate. One ID called job ID. One ID called job ID. So example team, you are okay. You are going to the movie. Okay, you are going to the shopping mall to do shopping or to watch the movie, and you went by car, hard two wheeler. So there is a huge parking area that is called as a pool, and you parked it. And when you are coming after shopping after watching the movie. How do you identify your car or your vehicle? So either based on the color or position or vehicle number, something like that. There are some identification. So why you have to look all of them? Why you have to think all of them? Because there are so many cars. There are so many vehicles, similar vehicles, same color are there. Similarly, we all connected to the same server. I, you, everyone connected to the same server. When you submit, when I submit, all information, all the execution details, all the things will go to the spool. What is that spool? You can search what is a spool in Google. Meanwhile, okay, spool. It will go to the spool. There, everyone's job will be there. Everyone's job will be there. If I submit, whether you submit, everyone will submit. When everyone's job is there, how do you identify your job? How do you identify your job? Job is nothing but the code what you submitted. Okay, job is nothing but program. So job, what is the job? It contains one program, right? Or multiple programs. So job, whenever I say job, it's a program. Okay, how do you identify your program in the spool? Because spool is the area where everyone's job is there. Everyone's program is there. So to identify that, at this moment, the unique ID generated by the system is job zero one one five three. This is the job ID. So this is the one is the name field. What you given? It is coming here. Are you clear? Now, when you got, I got one one five three job ID. Where is the parking area? Where is the spool? So start. I am going to the. Spool. Uh, ISP panel main screen. Then type yum. Type yum. Under type five. Okay. Type five. Hit the enter. So here this is SBSF primary option menu screen. So again, all these are not required for us. Okay. These come some of them. Some commands are used by admins. Some commands are used by support team members. Some of them will be used by developers. So we use mostly we will be use we will be using these commands. Now I will type st status of jobs. Okay, st stands status of all the jobs. The jobs which are in execution state, the jobs which are executed, the jobs are which are about to execute. If you want to see all of them, type ST. Okay, ST indicates the jobs which are about to execute, which are in execution status, which are after execution. All will be there in the spool. Type ST. 
now so this is the job name it is a common this is the job id so whenever you submit it will generate a one unique id that is called job id program id so this is the one so we filtered this one class we have given a a that is appearing as this now i am giving question mark so this in the line comment to see what went wrong what did the output in the school to see something give question mark it be entered there are three dd names job entry system message log job entry system jcl job entry system messages we will discuss this one later how to open any particular dd name type yes fs to see that Any queries? Showing that job not run and GC error, uh, Venkat. What is that actually? Uh, that you can ignore it, okay? Because there are no, you can ignore it for timing. Okay, right. Press F3 and whichever you want, you can see. We will come back to this DD names in a while. Now, press F9 to go to the JCL. Okay, team. Now, you got to know how to go to the spool and everything. But we still, we did not complete our requirement. Okay, we have to create a sequential file as per the below requirement. So, I want to create a file. Means when I when I mention a keyword called file, the DD name is required. Okay, so now the DD name is required or not depends on the program what you are using. Okay, so depends on the program you have to decide. We have to mention the file name or not. Yes, here I have to create the file. Then I have to use DD name. So this D1 will come under this particular step. This is called one step, one program. So one execute prism indicates one program. D1 space DD. DD stands data set description. DD stands data set description. So DSN is equal to okay, what file you are creating. So I want to create the file PS file one. You can go any file name. File name rules, you know, right? Uh, we discussed on in DSYS report, same rules 84, 44, uh, it should be divided into qualifiers, all of them. Now, so this file is existing or not? How system knows? System doesn't know by default. We need to explicitly tell that. So we can write a continuation parameter. How we written the continuation parameter here? same way here i can write the continuation parameter between 4 to 40 4 to 1 4 between anywhere you can write so i am writing this position so new catalog delete okay new catalog delete so today i will hold the this particular uh, parameter explanation i will explain next time there because if I take this one, it will take half an hour because today everything is new for you. You might feel that something exhaustive. Okay. So we will see that later. Come on. So basically new means it's not there. So create it. Now give a comma. Next, you have to mention the prime primary quantity, secondary quantity. 
So track, we will mention a track one minute. Yeah, sorry team. So track is a primary quantity and uh, sorry in which so we while creating the SQL file right we given tracks the same primary quantity secondary quantity. So whatever you specify first that will be the primary quantity whatever you specify here secondary quantity close bracket close bracket give a comma. The syntax is if you ask me the syntax rather than following the blindly so space is equal to we use units, track, cylinders, block size, or kV, kilobytes, megabytes, and all. Cylinder, okay. Then comma. Primary quantity, secondary quantity. Primary, secondary quantity. So this is the primary quantity. If you want to create a PDS, you can give a directory block. So we can give DB. Block. So this is all about space. Next, what is the requirement? You are creating a file. We will mention them in DCV. Data control block. So DCV. What is the record length LRECN? Logical record length. So, what is there in the business requirement? 50. And what is the record format? RECF. It's a block. What is the block size? Always multiple of record length. 500 or 200. 200 divided by 50. You don't get any remainder, right? So, multiple of record length. Then BS ORG PS. So this is the code to create a sequential file and using IFBR 14. You can create this file using different programs. One of the program is IFBR 14. Now the code is ready. Save. Submit. Now where if I submit what is the output you should predict blindly should not say that spool or something like that see when you are writing a program you should know the object so the outcome of this program is creating a file so once you submit once the max is zero without any errors that output is going to we have to see in the 3.4 file is existing or not save and submit so this time 1154 last time 1153 now 1154 is the java id and hit the enter enter so something went wrong okay i am not getting any notification which i supposed to get it So sometimes the notification may not come. Go to the spool, hit the enter, see 1154. Give question mark. Go to the last one. Here you can see, uh, here you can see uh, what the error is the error, whether successfully executed or not. Here, type yes. Can you see unbalanced parenthesis? On job statement. See before notify parameter itself there is an error. Then how you get the notification? 
you will not get. So unbalanced parentheses. So where statement number one, press F3, type yes. Okay, 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 where it went wrong. Earlier it got executed, right? This is okay. Okay, so I guess the maybe problem with this one better to give single quotes. Uh, time is okay, priority is okay, class. Better we'll try to change this and submit. Okay, so this is the one problem. And second, undefined operation field. So statement two is this one. No, no, okay, this line. How come there is something going down? Okay, so there is something going wrong, which means that, okay, ideally this this line should come under the one. Okay, maybe I will write within a single course. It might work. Save, submit. On one double five. So still I did not get the job notification. I did not get. So F3, F3 and one double one five. So see here. You see, step was executed. I'm not getting notification, but it got executed. The file got cataloged. So why we are getting not getting the notification? Let's see. Uh, the notification is correct. So notify IBM user. This is also correct. Okay. Now I'll submit again. We will get yes error. I am expecting notification. So I am not sure why. Ideally, it should alone. Okay, team. I'll come back to that also. Let's see whether the file is created or not. Start 3.4. So file is created. So it is not showing the notification. Has given the output right so okay okay I'll remove the priority and now One comma two after. One comma. One comma yeah, two after right. column R double. Line number what? Which line number you are talking about? Now save submit. One one five nine.
look at him so let me look into that what can be the see, you can see right i got max c zeros but not getting max c zero for recently submitted ones so i need to look into where what went wrong maybe a server issue i will see that So this is how we can purge it slash slash p block purge so removing the jobs you see these jobs are not up uh, you know third class a it's not killing you know you see these jobs are not killing Cancel, cancel, cancel. Ideally, this should job should go. Okay, then we can. I'll remove the class. This is a local server. Okay, then. And now I'll look into that. I will use different server now quickly. I want to complete error. You know, yeah, so I will use uh, existing. Cut B. No one created this. Yes, I'll create a PDS. And cut B. And get sales. So primary quantity one. Two X. Yeah, yes here. Eighty-eight hundred PDS. And so I, I am doing very quickly. Team. Let me create a one number. So I want to show the errors. So the intention today, how to fix the errors. I just sell caps on. Come off is optional. So when cut B. So what is the length? Four eighty. When cut B, I'm giving one. Now cut. Accounting information, programmer name, notify, this is ready. Type high JCL, F1, good PGM is equal to IEFPR 14, DDR, DDR, DDR. When cut B, JCL start one more. You should have to be explain this one. No catalog, select so space, pack, please, ECB, LRECL for 15, block size, then cut one more fix block. Yes, yes. Same. Uh, so all of them already I expect. So that is the reason I return 
very fast. Now I'll submit it. So I got on the server 479. Now you can see uh, access 0. This is called I am expecting. On other server, I am expecting this one. Venkat B Maxis that indicates that uh, this particular job, how many programs are there, all of them executed successfully. Whether you got error when output, whether you got the desired output, output doesn't matter. So syntactically, there is no issue in the JCL. So that is the reason it is written Maxis 0. So now you can go to the spool not spool in star 3.4 see this one but create look at it any queries Due to server issue only, we can't uh, get the result in that server, sir. Yeah, yeah, something wrong with that. See, I did I did anything separately? No, right. Okay, right. Now, I will submit again. I did not change the file name. What happens? We got JSON error. So, now where is the wrong? What is the wrong? So basically. In that yeah. uh, fifth line, uh, track one, da one, one comma two, you have entered in that server. In this server, you given uh, one comma one. One, see, one is a prime quantity. This is a second quantity. So, numbers are your wish. Okay, sir. It's not a thumb rule every time you have to mention one, one or one two. And yeah. So now I got JCL error. What I got? You got JCL error. So what can be the what can be the reason? So I'll go to the spoon on the server. Going to the spoon, guys. Who are using V Venkat A Venkat B Venkat C? This is you can observe. Start uh, here. Yes, enter. Yes, B. Okay, same. Yum. And type SD. A uh, file. Yum and file. Same. Type SD. Uh, can you see? This is the one we submitted. What is the Java ID? 480, right? The latest one. Give question mark. Give the enter. If something goes wrong and you want to see the description of it, okay, you want to see the description of it, type yes against that. Against DD name, okay, we have to mention this. Enter. So you can see what went wrong. Duplicate data set name on direct access storage device. So duplicate data set name is there. Means already file is there. When already file is there, how can you submit same JSL again and again? Already there, no? Now I will stop sharing again. I am not done. Give me one minute. Team, I will take five, 5 to 10 minutes more to show how to fix the errors. Okay, because I will share today's recorded video with you. So that uh, next time, whenever you get the error, you have to go to the school and I mean you have to go to my video watch and fix errors yourself okay for that purpose i am going to share this video you know so i have written this code by the way first i changed the file name i changed the file name i am submitting forget about what went wrong and all when you see jcl error simple thing whenever you see jcl error that indicates that syntactically something wrong in the jcl 
it can be line 1 or it can be line 2, it can be statement 3 or 1, statement 2. We don't know where it is, right? So, same as usual. So, on the server, start, come and fire. Hit the enter. Type ST. Type ST. So, we can type the last job ID, which is the one. View question mark to open the job. I told you right here. So this DD name is going to contain what is wrong, what is what went wrong. That particular description error description will be here. View S here. unbalanced parentheses on the DD statement. You can see line three and this one. I am pressing F3 and here you press S unbalanced parentheses. Line number 3 means it can be here because all these parameters will come under 3 only. Somewhere comma is mistake. I mean open bracket is missing. Close or open something. So that is our responsibility to fix it. Okay. So we should remember the syntax. You have to refer my class notes for that. So I will tell you here is missing and here it is missing. I will remove the comma here now. I will remove the comma intentionally. Save and submit. Will I got this error? ST. Refresh to get the data job. And view question mark, uh, S, question mark, then S. Undefined operation field. Undefined operation field. Line number 4 and 5. F3. C. There is something went wrong here. Now, Ideally, these two also should come under this, but it came as a separate, which means that some combination, okay, logical break is happening here. There is break is between this code and here. So, before this, it cannot be exactly on the same line, it can be before after line. So, I will go here, give a comma and submit it. Okay, submit. You see the job ID. Enter. You got max zero. Okay, right. Now, so team intentionally, I am going with my ID without suffixing. I am giving Venkat a B. So ideally, it is how many characters? Seven characters. So I, you try save and submit. You will get enter job name characters. So ideally, you should give eight, but given six, seven only. So you have to enter some character A to Z or one to nine. So I will give four. Now you can see initially Venkat B is there. Now after adding 4, it formed as a, it is created as a Venkat B4. And job ID is this one. Max is 0. Max is 0 means syntactically everything is perfectly fine. Okay. So, yeah. Any queries so far? Let me start.